Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing y'all my other beauty favorites for 2018. If you want to see my makeup favorites for 2018, then I will link that up here. This is going to be my other beauty favorites, my other just favorites in general. It's mostly skincare, but there is some other things as well. I feel like this year was just the year of skincare for me. I just kind of found my groove of skincare and I haven't really changed it. This makeup look that I'm wearing right now is all cream products. I'm kind of testing it out for a video. I really love this routine because it's all cream products and it looks super natural and super dewy and alerty. If you want to see a tutorial on this whole look, then just let me and I'm down below. And if you want to see my other favorites for 2018, then just keep watching. I'm gonna start with this first just because I know that I'll forget it. This is a Kendra Scott necklace. I'm not a person that like cares about brands or anything. I just really love this necklace because it's simple and it's just like all black. I've had this for about like five months. I've worn it ever since. Like I just love it. I wear it with t-shirts. I wear it with dressy stuff. I wear it with anything and I feel like it just gives me confidence. Every time I leave the house, I'm like, mm, do I have my necklace on? And then my other thing is my ring. I don't know if many of y'all know this but this is a purity ring and it just symbolizes that i'm gonna save sex till marriage this reminds me of jesus god first because it's like a heart with a cross in it i just personally wanted it just to just like my wwjd bracelet these two things i get questions about that sparks conversations and it might plant a seed in someone and it might not this year i wore a lot more because i got it the year before last but it was way too big and i finally got it resized and i love it and i once again never leave the house without it i feel naked without it i'm going to go into skin skincare since I have literally so much skincare. I'm gonna probably go through pretty fast because I have a skincare routine up and I'm pretty sure that it's still kind of up to date. I'll link it down below. I'll start with the makeup remover because that's what I would do first is remove my makeup. This has been a favorite for a few years now. This is I think either my second or third bottle and this is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water and this is just the original one. This is so good and it doesn't leave your face feeling greasy but I always wash my face after. It doesn't burn my eyes. It takes off everything really easily. I'll do it with makeup like this and I'll do it with makeup like all my crazy makeup that I'll do. To me this doesn't feel oily on my skin. It doesn't leave my skin feeling clean. I'm someone that needs to wash their face after this. If you're not a clean freak like me then you probably won't. My facial cleanser that I use for facial cleansing things is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This is literally such a hydrating facial cleanser. I'll just use this basically if I have a mask on I'll remove it with this. With like my scrubby facial thing I'll pump it onto it and then I'll take it off. It just soothes my skin while it's taking off i'll wash off my exfoliator with this i'll mix it with my exfoliator i'll just wash my face if i've removed my makeup and it's not that much makeup this is just what i use to assist in things makeup like this i can just take off with this as well i love this it's super moisturizing if you have dry skin you need to try this this doesn't strip your skin at all it literally moisturizes your skin it feels like i'm taking a lotion and washing my face with it after that you would tone that facial cleanser this and then another thing i've been using since like last december and I've just kind of like got into them more this year in a whole year I've only used that much definitely do not use this every day I only use this when I feel like I need a lot more cleansing action if I had a lot of makeup on and some days I will just use like an exfoliating cotton round and this on it that's what I'll do in the morning sometimes if my skin just doesn't feel good this is either an extra cleanse to the skin or sometimes I just use this to cleanse my skin whenever I'll use like a facial mask or I feel like I just really want to close my pores I'll just pour this in my hands and tap it in my face but I do not use this on a cotton round every day after that you would moisturize. I have a few because I don't just use one moisturizer all the time. What I've been using a lot more recently is the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream. I use this sometimes not at night. If my skin is super dry, I'll use this. My skin has been so dry recently. It's not like super thick, but it's pretty thick. Just moisturizes really well. When I mix this with an oil, it's super moisturizing as well. Most of the time I'll use this at night if I do deep cleansing or if I do a mask, but sometimes I use this during the day. Also, the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. This is what I use if it's just like a normal day and I haven't like stripped my skin of everything. I've just like washed my face. I used to say that this wasn't very moisturizing and I was like, I recommend this for oily skin. It's like a thicker daily moisturizer. I hate when people use products like that, but I just did. I really like this. It moisturizes really well. This is a good moisturizer for days that I'm still dry, but like I'm not like super dry where I need that. This is a good one under makeup as well. One that a lot of y'all have seen that I discovered this year. I did like a battle of the gel.
gel masks from Freeman earlier in the year last year and I discovered this and I have been loving using this as a moisturizer. I found it in a full size at five below which I was so glad about but I feel like this is better for the summertime. Now that it's winter time I don't use this as often because most of the time I do need a thicker moisturizer. I'll use this sometimes in the morning and I don't even wash my face and I'll just put this on like around my eyes and around my nose and places that are really dry. Thin watery consistency. It softens your skin and it feels really good. I didn't even say what it was. Freeman hydrating glacier water and pink peony gel cream mask. It actually says leave on mask instantly calms and softens for glowing skin and you're definitely really glowy with this especially if you have normal skin and you don't have extra dry skin. This is going to be really good for you. I love this so much. The oil I was talking about is the e.l.f. nourishing facial oil. I know that I just got this in my e.l.f. haul. I instantly fell in love with this. This is just a really good facial oil. I don't really know how to explain it. I'll mix this with whatever I need. If I'm using the daily moisturizer, I'll mix it with it. Mix it as in like I put the moisturizer on and then I put this on top. Most of the time I only need one, maybe two drops to cover my entire face. It's pretty not thick but not liquidy if that makes sense. A lot of the times I'll use this in conjunction with my CeraVe night cream and I get like super moisturized, super glowy, oily looking skin. I should have mentioned this during like cleansing, but I thought I would mention this more as a mask. This has been a favorite exfoliator. This is the Freeman Cleansing Apple Cider Vinegar Clay Mask and Scrub and I've used this for the past like four years as an exfoliator. This year I discovered it as a mask. A lot of the times this is what I use for my clay mask and it pulls everything out and then whenever you rinse it off, it exfoliates probably like the first two layers of your skin off because it pulls it all out and then it exploits. So it is really intense. I don't do this that often. Once every two weeks whenever I feel like my skin is getting really gunky but I still use this as a regular exfoliator. I mix this with my hydrating facial cleanser sometimes whenever I still want to exfoliate because pretty much every time I wash my face I want to exfoliate. Since I have super dry skin I have dry patches and flakes. I get gunky buildup of dry skin. I'll mix it with that so that I can still get a little bit of exfoliation but still have the hydrating aspect. I definitely widened my horizons on this. I'm not just using it as an exfoliator now. Chapstick, lip balm, whatever you want to call it. This is the Aquaphor Healing Ointment Advanced Therapy for dry, cracked, or irritated skin. This is my favorite for my lips. So, so hydrating. This is my second big tube of it and I'm about halfway through it. I can't go anywhere without Aquaphor. My lips get so dry. Once you use this, you will never use chapstick brand chapstick ever again. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just use that like around my nose if it's super dry and cracky. To set all my skincare in, I've once again loved the Mario Badescu facial sprays for a long time. I have all three of the scents and I'm pretty sure they have like an orange one. Now. I used to really like the rose one. I actually discovered this this year so this is technically like a yearly favorite. This is the lavender one and I love this one so much. I'll use the scent night right before I go to sleep and I'll use this in the morning like if I just want to calm down especially like after face mask whenever I moisturize after a face mask I'll put this on I feel like it calms my skin. I just love the smell of lavender. It calms me and I love the formula of this spray already. I just spray it whenever I want to on my face whether it's bare faced or like, I'm just gonna mention a few tools this year. The only mirror I use during my tutorials is this AOA Studio hand mirror. It's just great. You can get up super close and it's not bulky, like it's super thin. So you literally can just be like, yeah. And you also can like fan your setting spray with it. So the AOA Studio scissor tweezers. I had other scissor tweezers. These are so much sharper, so much finer, and they pluck off eyebrow hairs so much easier and put on eyelashes so much easier. Definitely recommend these and they're a dollar and they're great. Another tool thing is the e.l.f. daily brush cleaner and I don't really know if I discovered this this year. I doubt I did. I just really love spot cleaning my brushes with this. If I've used like a super bright color and I still want to use the brush, this is really handy and I just got the bigger size and I only have this much left. And then I have two hair products. This is the OGX Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco Weightless Healing Dry Oil. I just feel like I always need an oil to use in my hair after I wash it. I spray this in my fingers and then I run them through my hair and then I brush it out. If I brush it out before I did this, my hair would just like come out of my head. It makes it so much softer and I'll use this after I use heat on my hair just to like kind of tame the frizz but also to make it feel better and not be so dry and damaged. My most used way of doing this is just spraying it in my hand and then rubbing my hands together and then just doing this and it smells so good. Maybe it doesn't do anything to my hair but it makes it look a lot more shiny, a lot sleek, and a lot healthier. And the other hair product is the No Drop Dry Shampoo by Lush. This is so good and like Literally, I haven't used any of it because you need to be very sparingly. You just go tap. I actually use this today and it doesn't leave white cast. I don't really get oily hair. Whenever it's clean, it's like bouncy. Whenever it's dirty, I feel like it's just like 
put this in there whenever I want some volume back in there. It smells good. I put this in here because literally these pens are so good. These are the Paper Me Ink Joy Gel pens and I have like the big pack of them. I just love these because they don't break like those other ink joy pens. I love it and it's right so smooth. Sometimes I do have to get like a rougher pen for really serious stuff because I can't be like slipping all over the place. If you're into stationery and into writing and stuff then I definitely recommend that. The last Thing. These are mom jeans. I don't know if I ever like mentioned these, but these are the wild fable jeans from Target. Yeah, these are mom jeans and they've definitely shrunk. They didn't start shrinking until like, a month or two back. I've had them since August. They've still lasted well, but I haven't been drying them. I love those so much and I never thought that I would like the way mom jeans looked on me. They were only $22 from Target. I'm just like the mom jean girl now. And I wish that they had more colors. Just another quick thing. This is the Bath and Body Works moisturizing body cream in the Focus one, which is eucalyptus and tea, and this used to be like the stress relief eucalyptus tea but they changed their line I really like this packaging it's like so much cuter now i put this on every night before bed after i use like another lotion that actually moisturizes my hands because my hands get so dry because i wash them all the time bath and body works things do not moisturize me literally i'll breathe this in and fall asleep it says focus but it's really calming i like this so much better than the first stress relief scent that is like a man i used to love that so much but that's so strong compared to this one and this one i just love it's like the girly version of stress I love it. It's so good. My camera is definitely like a 2018 favorite because I think I got it in March. I did so many cool things with this year. Obviously filmed a bunch of YouTube videos with it, but I also took it to Costa Rica and did like a whole lot later than I thought. I'm so glad that I have a camera going into the new year. This is the Canon G7X Mark II if you didn't know what camera I had. This would totally be a favorite because I'm going to say something that's pretty embarrassing, but I left this at a friend's house and I literally started crying. She lives like 30 minutes away and I was like, oh, when am I going to get it back? I got it back like the next day i literally was like there's no purpose to drink water and this is a reusable straw this is like a 2018 2019 2020 favorite i love this like simple modern brand like it's so cute and they have so many things and i want to get like eight of these this is the simple modern 30 ounce i drink so much more water than i used to and i already drank like a lot of water i just want to get something else from that line because it's literally so cute because it's simple and modern that's definitely a favorite even though i've only had it for like three weeks again but <laughs> So that was all of my like other favorites of 2018. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribed down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Don't forget to tell me down below your other favorite things of 2018. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!